Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. In my last video, I have dealt with the, the sympathy, judge's sympathy, gaining judge's sympathy by the advocates for adjournments. Now we are going to discuss the topic of, uh, is a technical nature, recording the proceedings of the court or mobile phone. Recording the proceedings of the court on mobile phone. Is it an offence? So clearly, it is not mentioned whether it is an offence or not. But the rules say that please keep your phone in switch off or silent mode. That is what is written outside the court hall. Of course, if the phone rings normally in the olden days, that is about uh, three or four years back, uh, the <coughs> judge used to send the davidar who used to collect the mobile phone and ultimately he will give it uh, after the court hours are over. And sometimes it will be embarrassing even the judges comment adversely on the advocates. Uh, Mama, why are you not get prepared? Why don't you keep it in silent mode? Don't you know that much? Of course, even though we are busy with our cases, the client may uh, ring. The clients are also in such a bad habit that they ring only between 10 to 10.30 a.m. That is where we are busy with the court work. But uh, we can't uh, stop answering them. That is the main problem. I have seen only one advocate, B. Hanumari Day, in Ungol Bar, who keeps his phone in a switch off mode right from 10.15 a.m. to 1.30 or 2 p.m. till he comes out of the court. That's all. Nobody can disturb him. Of course, he has got a lot of juniors, they will be speaking to the parties. That's another alternate arrangement he has made. Right. As far as this case is concerned, Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, you may be knowing, he is a techno savvy judge. Techno savvy Supreme Court judge. He knows and he is the president of that uh, technical board also. So he said, this is also Avita Dekta. No big deal if somebody records on mobile phone what I say. So it's not a big deal if somebody records what I say on a mobile phone. It is because you know, section 327 CRPC, what does it say? Court to be open. You may be remembering, court to be open. So because I have dictated or I have opened my mouth in the open court. So definitely nothing is going to happen. So let him record the meeting and it's not a big deal. 327 CRPC, what does it say? Court to be open. The place in which any criminal court is held for the purpose of inquiry shall be deemed to be an open court. Already I told you, sometimes the jail may become an open court, right? So the public generally have access. But at the same time, 327 clause 2, please remember, the presiding judge may, if he thinks fit, or an application made by parties allow any particular person to have access or remain in the room or get out from the room. Of course, in, in camera proceedings, nobody will be allowed. So that is, uh, so court is a public place. Somebody may come and some uh, intelligent young boy. So he may try to record. What happens? Nothing will happen. That is what is told by Justice D.Y. Chandrachud. So, Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, who has been advocating the use of technology in legal proceedings, made some interesting remarks uh, on the use of electronic devices in the courtrooms. Of course, this was brought to his notice by senior advocate Vijay Hansariya. So, he apprised the Honorable Court that the judges of high courts and the lower judiciary, subordinate judiciary, they do not encourage the use of phones uh, in the courtrooms. So I told you in my two or three previ videos previously, I don't know, remember the number. Justice D.Y. Chandrachud has become the guru. He has asked him when the advocate on record was not able to tell the correct meaning of cogent. He asked them, come on, Google and just search. Yes, that is the encouragement he gives. So he said, <coughs> Yes, definitely you have to encourage them. That means uh, you can uh, get the laptop or you can uh, iPad, use the iPad and uh, tuck, 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 dictate the so-called judgments. Relevant portions may be extracted, cut, copy, paste, may be sent to the court also because it saves a lot of time also. It's correct because what is the purpose of IT Act, Information Technology Act? It is only to legally recognize so-called digital evidence, is it not? Right. Now, Dish Chandrashoot narrated incident where he found somebody recording what was being said in the courtroom. Then he said, Yesterday I saw someone using a mobile device recording recording what we said. 
What is the big door? Nothing. But please remember, he added a caveat. He added a restriction that one should refrain from prying into discussions between the judges among themselves during the course of hearing. They will be discussing something that should not be dis disclosed to anybody. Right? So, this emanated when Dep Justice Chandrachur referred to the hard copy of the complaint nations. So, Apex Court is encouraging the IT advocates to refer to soft copies of the judgment. You can send them through digitally. So, it will save paper as well as save time and actually save them from carrying on bulk material. So, books are, of course, in the library said the same to Vijay Hansarya said. So, the books are lying in the uh, library and occupying much space. Anyway, so in this connection, Honorable Justice Chandrasud also said that he will address the uh, President, Mr. Vikas Singh of Supreme Court Bar Association to uh, actually arrange a training class for all the young advocates how to utilize the technology in the court. Right? Very good uh, obiter dicta. So you can also follow this. Some days definitely it may come in the lower courts also. You can happily take your iPad and you can say, Your Honor, in the case of Mr. Hassan and another versus state of AP 1997. Yes, the judgment it will appear on his screen also and he can easily send. So instead of taking so much uh, voluminous books, keep them and uh, uh, paraphrasing all these things are not necessary. Anyway, good remark by the Honorable Justice Chandrachot. But as a precaution, as an elder, I tell you not to keep your mobile phone uh, open in the court unless the court permits. This is more important. Suppose if it rings, uh, definitely it will be taken away. This is what happened to us about four or five years back. Of course, nowadays we are very careful, right? So with this, even though justice says that what is a big deal, definitely it will become a big deal for you. So don't use mobile phones in the court. This is what I want to express. Thank you.